Goodness, who turned the power off? Batteries. These are the things that we literally need to function like almost any like any gadget that involves with this thing. It has a positive and negative end. I mean yeah, a positive end and a negative end right here. So these are actually the indicators we're in where you put and how you put your batteries in the right place. So what is the dangers of this battery right over here, this teeny tiny device, I mean object that I'm handling right here, the power devices, of course. This is the powerhouse of all our devices including our phones, but of course there are different types of batteries. There were like this, double, if I'm right, this is double A AA or triple A battery. Some others were like for car batteries and including our phone batteries that are rechargeable. So let's discuss the dangers of this tiny object that I'm handling right here. Okay, so let's go back once again into this battery that I'm handling right up here. So what is the main component inside of this energizer battery that I'm handling? It contains mercury that is actually also known as a conductive liquid metal in which is very useful to store energy. Yes, humans cannot produce energy but transferring energy is literally legal. Is it because, of course, according to the law of energy, energy cannot be created or destroyed, yet humanity created a way in order to store energy instead of creating it by means of this. Of course, they only produce the amount of what we call as energy that we need from this thing. But how come mercury was too dangerous? Well, of course, mercury can cause like many toxins onto a human body, including the fact that it can literally melt a human digestive system. That's an example of an effect of a mercury if you intake them. If you inhaled a mercury fume, it may cause some cardiovascular diseases include the fact respiratory so do not even dare to take a risk of handling mercury well i'm already handling an object containing mercury inside so what we should do to prevent ourselves from being contaminated or having a risk on mercury at this moment, I will discuss about the effects of improper handling of a battery. Well, of course, there's no such posture. I mean, you can handle it in any posture, whatever you want. What do you mean by handling? It means how you take care of your battery. Do not throw these batteries is because it may cause like small explosions or possibly damages from your environment. For instance, like flammable environments or environments filled with electric devices, so don't handle your batteries carelessly as always, or even anywhere including zones with tons of plants, because this battery right here, its single cell contains mercury, like high concentration of mercury inside of this thing. So, you will see how shiny the entire battery is. Okay, so this thing also covers with arsenic oil, so it also is toxic. So when you actually rub your hand onto the battery, you see in my hand, it's much more oily. So, like, let's compare this hand into my other hand. It's slightly rougher down to the hand that is 
and build a battery already. So you can see how much arsenic is outside of this thing. And of course, batteries can cause moisture. That's how lethal batteries are on human health. So if you handle batteries and then you don't literally handle it anymore, like I'm done using it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like done using it. So don't worry, it just landed on the pillow. So yeah, just directly wash your hands so that you won't be able to risk your life by arsenic contamination. Yes, of course, this coating right here is arsenic. Yeah. But some batteries doesn't have like arsenic components. They will actually fill with other components as well. So let's go to something on reverse. As I discussed about the effects of improper usage of batteries, we will discuss how you will dispose them properly. Let's go. Hi, my name is Lorna Girocchino from STEM 401 and today I'm going to demonstrate how to dispose the old batteries in a proper way. Step 1. Prepare the old batteries to be disposed in and a proper paper bag to proper contain the batteries. Step 2. Place the old batteries inside the paper bag to remain dry to prevent moisture that may cause potential hazard. Like this guys. Step 3. Dump into dry area. Do not place the dump batteries near a wet area to prevent any potential hazard. 